Ya. Oke. Baik, kita mulai. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi yang terhormat Dekan Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan Profesor Arnetral. Berikutnya, dosen dan juga tenaga pengajar yang juga hadir dari Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan. Yang kami hormati Ian Shira dari Krakatoa Football Team dari Melbourne Australia. Dan juga Ibu Ana Surjanto dari Australia Global Alumni. Oke, okay. aku sapa sekali lagi ya. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wah, tapi nggak kelihatan nih wajahnya. Boleh dinyalakan ya kameranya. Oke, okay. jadi selamat pagi teman-teman semua. Selamat datang di bilateral webinar. AFL atau Australian Football League yang akan saya pandu hari ini. So my name is Evelyn. You can call me Elin. I'm from Faculty of Social Science. Jadi dari FIS ya. Uh, jadi uh, kalau teman-teman di sini uh, berasal dari Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan FIK. Nah, jadi kita tetangga. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Um, so in this nice occasion di hari Sabtu yang uh, cerah dan juga uh, lebih santai kali ya untuk beberapa mahasiswa karena mungkin tidak ada perkuliahan hari ini um, kita telah berkumpul bersama dalam rangka uh, bilateral webinar yang akan membahas tentang budaya dari perspektif olahraga nah jadi di sini teman-teman uh, semua akan saya pandu untuk mengenal lebih jauh tentang olahraga yang ada di Australia Oke, okay. mengawali acara ini kita dengarkan sambutan dari Dekan Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan, Profesor Arnedral. Kepada Bapak disilahkan. Thank you, Evelyn. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullah wabarakatuh. Salam olahraga, Jaya. 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 Salam sejahtera buat kita semua. Selamat pagi. Yang saya hormati Bapak Ibu yang hadir secara virtual. Pertama, saya mengucapkan. Selamat ya kepada Evelyn dan kawan-kawan yang telah memoderatori sekaligus menginisiasi kegiatan uh, sport science uh, dalam bentuk sosial olahraga. Uh, thank you for you ya. Uh, kemudian yang sama hormati. Uh, para keynote speaker, welcoming speed uh, Dr. Nurul Tisan SPDMPD uh, from uh, UMP. Next uh, keynote speaker Ian Sarer yeah, dari FC Federation Coach uh, Australia Australian. Uh, honorable Lecturer of Law, Universitas Negeri Padang. Uh, saya sangat gembira diundang pada pagi hari ini dalam rangka uh, webinar ya yeah, bilateral antara Australia dengan Indonesia secara khusus. Fakultas Simo Kelaragaan atau sport yang ada di, di Indonesia. Uh, terima kasih sekali lagi 
uh, kepada Vice uh, Football Australia. Olahraga yang juga merupakan alat pemersatu bangsa, tidak hanya bentuk olahraga tradisional Indonesia, kita kenal. Nah, ini kalau di Indonesia sepak bola, namun di Australia itu football, di Amerika itu soccer. Ya. Namun demikian tentu pengembangannya secara masing-masing uh, negara tentu berbeda. Atau secara alami berkembang uh, budaya pada masing-masing daerah atau di masing-masing negara. Nah, dengan adanya hubungan liberal ini, kerjasama ini mudah-mudahan ya, football Australia bisa beradaptasi di Indonesia, bisa dikembangkan dan dibudayakan, sehingga menjadi uh, budaya uh, khusus pengembangan olahraga uh, soccer di Indonesia. Uh, mengembangkan pemahaman antar budaya bagi generasi muda di Indonesia juga merupakan bagian penting dalam kehidupan bermasyarakat sehingga uh, tertanam nilai-nilai bahwa kekayaan budaya itu perlu dikembangkan uh, dalam bentuk syukur uh, kehidupan damai dan tentram. Jadi olahraga itu adalah sebagai alat pemersatu, ya, sebagai alat perjuangan, sebagai alat kompetitif uh, dan bernilai uh, karakter uh, pendidikan. Jadi itu itu saatnya sekarang uh, kita harus mengembangkan diri. Seperti apa yang dikembangkan di Australia di Australia dan seperti apa pula yang nanti yang bisa diserap di Indonesia. Itu, itu uh, semacam sosialisasi hari ini atau web, melalui webinar ini mudah-mudahan uh, bisa uh, dikembangkan apa saja ilmu-ilmu yang setelah dibudayakan di Australia bisa diserap di Indonesia. Selain daripada itu, kita juga akan memperoleh tubuh yang sehat untuk bisa beraktivitas dengan bugar, belajar dan mengembangkan diri sebagai generasi muda yang cerdas. Jadi intinya adalah sport sebagai develop community uh, uh, pikiran atau kognitif, afektif, dan psikometori. Semoga kelanjutan program dari Australia ini secara global yang disebut dengan global uh, alumni uh, football di Australia bisa memberikan dampak lebih luas bagi Uh, Fakulti Sport Science uh, Universitas Negeri Padang. Dan sekali lagi terima kasih atas MOE ini atau MOU yang akan dibangun melalui Ibu Evelyn dan kawan-kawan, terutama Ibu Ana yang telah memfasilitasi kegiatan ini. Semoga kegiatan ini uh, antara federasi uh, Football Australia bisa berkembang di Indonesia, khususnya dikembangkan di Fakultas Ilmu Kelaragaan Universitas Negeri Padang. Demikian sambutan saya. For attention, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. wabarakatuh. Oke, okay. thank you Profesor Al Nedral uh, and also welcome uh, Vice Dean uh, uh, Mr. Nurul Ihsan uh, that also joining us this morning. Halo Pak. Uh, morning. Morning Pak. Oke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ya, jadi uh, uh, ya dengan bekerja sama antara, antara Australia Global Alumni dan juga uh, 
Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan Universitas Negeri Padang. Semoga nanti ke depannya akan ada kerjasama lebih lanjut tentang olahraga AFL ini. Nah, nanti kita akan membahas lebih dalam tentang apa sih itu AFL. Ya, Jadi uh, kita juga sudah uh, menghadirkan satu orang narasumber, so one speaker from Australia, jadi dari Melbourne, uh, namanya Ian Shira, yang akan membahas tentang uh, bagaimana AFL, ya, jadi Australian sport itu seperti apa sih, dan juga apa sih hubungannya dengan intercultural understanding di Australia. Uh, but before we started, I'd like to share uh, a couple of things. Uh, nanti saya akan campur-campur ya bahasanya, jadi jika teman-teman ingin bertanya, Silahkan bertanya menggunakan bahasa Indonesia atau menggunakan bahasa Inggris juga boleh. Jadi melalui kolom chat atau mungkin bisa raise hand. Nah, jadi sebelum kita uh, mulai, uh, I'd like to introduce Ian Shira to you guys. So Ian Shira been um, involved in this uh, sports uh, diplomacy, sports activity uh, since a long time ago. And Ian sebenarnya juga bisa bahasa Indonesia. Betul Ian? Halo Ian. <laughs> Enggak bisa bahasa Indonesia. Enggak bisa. Saudara-saudara saya tinggal di Indonesia dan lupa itu semua. Itu bahasa Indonesia itu. Bahasa <laughs> Indonesia itu sedikit saya ya. Saya harus bahasa Inggris. Maaf, mohon maaf. Iya, uh, tidak apa. Hmm. Oke, okay, ya. Jadi Ian Shira uh, sebenarnya bisa bahasa Indonesia, namun uh, uh, karena untuk hari ini akan menggunakan bahasa Inggris. Jadi ini adalah kesempatan juga ya bagi kita kita semua peserta di sini untuk melatih listening kita lagi dalam bahasa Inggris ya. Tapi nanti jika ada pertanyaan silahkan uh, ditanyakan dalam bahasa Indonesia. Saya akan bantu untuk translasi. Oke, okay, uh, jadi dalam tema developing intercultural understanding for Indonesian young generation. Nah, Ian ini juga terlibat di Krakatoa Football Team ya atau Football Club. Jadi di sana ada tim Uh, sepak bola Australia yang terdiri dari orang-orang Indonesia ataupun juga orang-orang Australia yang bermain bersama gitu. Jadi timnya itu uh, mix antara Australia dan Indonesia. Nah, kami di sana bermain secara uh, sosial gitu ya. Jadi uh, setiap hari weekend seperti hari Sabtu atau Minggu, so we play together in a field, jadi dari satu lapangan. Nah, di situ juga sebenarnya saya dan Bu Ana Surjanto terlibat. Nah, jadi kami uh, pernah meng, um, berlatih ya di dalam tim namanya Krakatoa Football Club. Krakatoa ini mengingatkan kita akan gunung ya, gunung Krakatau. Nah, jadi uh, mungkin kalau Ian uh, bisa memperlihatkan the, the jumper that you wear today. Jadi Ian itu menggunakan baju timnya Krakatoa Football Club yang menggambarkan ada gunung um, merapi, <laughs> ya, nah. gunung meletus ya. Ini nah, itu juga Inggris. <laughs> jadi itu adalah, uh, ya, jadi itu adalah logo dari Krakatoa Football Team. Nah, dan juga uh, dari AFL Indonesia. Jadi di Indonesia sendiri sudah ada AFL atau Australian Football Indo, uh, Football League yang berpusat uh, di Jakarta dan juga ada timnya di Kalimantan dan Bali. Nah, jadi untuk lebih lengkapnya, uh, I will uh, give a Time for Ian Shira to share about uh, IFL and also the intercultural understanding in Australia. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Evelyn. Um, and thank you, Bapak, for your introduction uh, before as well. Um, yeah, so look, I'm, I'm really happy um, that we have uh, been able to have this event because it um, is a result of the hard work um, of all of the Krakatoa's members. Um, I I mean, obviously I'm the one speaking and terms like founder and so on, but it's uh, all of the achievements by the Krakatoa's um, and their significant achievements for uh, sports diplomacy and cross-cultural relations. It has to be shared um, with many people who are here today um, uh, and who haven't been mentioned yet. Um, uh, and also people who aren't here today. Um, so I just want to pay my respects to many people who were involved in the in essentially um, us being able to talk about sports di diplomacy um, at this university, um, and uh, they're not here today. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, why the Krakatoa's? Um, I actually have 
um, an Australian Rules football um, that's for the Krakatoas. You can see the logo there. And this is essentially what a football looks like. And we actually have a motto and a philosophy, and I'm going to show it for the camera. Hopefully it comes up. No, come <laughs> on. Uh, maybe maybe you move it a bit to the blue yeah. side. Orang nah, Indonesia orang Indonesia main putih. Main putih. <laughs> Pasti bisa. Jadi itu motonya yeah. ya, teman-teman. <laughs> the the um the concept behind that motto, which was created by another Krakatoa's member, again someone who uh, has contributed to the culture of the club. Um, Many Indonesians, and I believe you're going to watch a video later today. Uh, many Indonesians watch Australian rules football, and they're like, "Oh, I, I can't play that," or "No, this is this is too rough," or "This is uh, uh, I've never played it before," um, and all of these things that would would um, make many people think that Indonesians um, shouldn't or wouldn't be able to play football. But um, the Krakatoas has proven that everyone can play football, and especially especially Indonesians. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and uh, share a presentation with you. Um, it's essentially some slides and I'll, I'll be talking over it. Um, Evelyn and Anna, just let me know if you feel that this isn't working and we can uh, uh, change back to uh, just the screen. Um, now, um, I'll, I'll certainly do that in a moment. Um, look, Australian, Australian rules football. Um, can I ask anyone uh, if you follow maybe Manchester United or Liverpool or Real Madrid? Is there anyone in the audience that loves their, loves their soccer? Ada um, yang suka sepak bola, yang mengikuti MU mungkin, atau Liverpool, atau Real Madrid? Coba di angkat tangannya. <laughs> yeah. Di sini siapa right. yang fans sepak bola? Hmm. Well, look, um, Australian rules football was first played in the year uh, 1858. Now, um, that was first played in Melbourne. Um, there's actually a lot of people who believe that uh, Australian football is similar to a game that the Aborigine uh, people of Australia played as well. But um, uh, for the time being, um, the, um, it's believed the origins started in 1858. Now, um, in 1859, the first Australian Rocks Football Club was created, um, which was Melbourne uh, Football Club and also Geelong Football Club, which uh, had a success yesterday and also meant a handful of other teams. Now, to put that into context, um, in uh, uh, the first Olympic Games was 1896. So Australian Rocks Football was essentially 40 years before uh, uh, before the Olympics. I believe Manchester United was 1878, 1879. Liverpool, I believe, was a little bit later, uh, closer to 1890, um, uh, 94, something along those lines. Basketball wasn't even invented until 1891. So Australian rules football has essentially been around for about 30 to 40 years longer than what basketball has. Um, and we and the official laws of um, of, of soccer um, was I think uh, in the 1890s. Um, so uh, Australian football has a history that we're proud of, um, and it's been something that, uh, as a new country, the purpose there was essentially we enjoyed sport, um, and in the winter time our main sport was cricket. But in the winter time we needed to keep our cricket players fit. Um, and with what that comes with English sports from cricket, rugby, and so on, and is translated over to Australian football, is essentially the community aspect and the, the fact that everyone is welcome. Um, it is uh, regard, and you all know that uh, maybe British um, society has um, a high class and the working class and so on. Um, but when it came to sport, regardless of your background, uh, regardless of your religion, um, you all came together um, as a team uh, for the same outcome. And that was essentially uh, what we, the, the purpose of the Krakatoas um, uh, for our visiting Indonesians um, into Melbourne. And I'll touch on that 
um, at a later at a later point. So, Australian rules football clubs. Um, they're dotted all over Melbourne and Australia, actually. Um, it's now spread internationally, but that's only been in the last couple of decades. But the way someone like myself um, and many other people who um, grow up in Australia is that you'd be introduced to football at school or um, in the case of where I live, um, on my street at the end of the road, um, there is a football field and a football club uh, with facilities um, that is available for my whole area, my whole suburb. Um, so, um, and that is where um, members of the community will come and join a team and they'll play against other areas of Melbourne. So it's essentially a part of a league. Uh, similar to what you would know in the Premier League with multi uh, levels and so on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there we are. Um, so um, with uh, uh, with the uh, football with the football clubs, um, the important thing was making sure again, making sure that irrespective of what sort of work you do um, and your background, that everyone still comes together, and your object you have a combined objective. Um, so we have. Traditionally in Australia, you would have Christians and Catholics, um, or you would have Irish and English. Um, you would even have, let's say, Chinese um, gold mining um, uh, descendants. Um, you would have um, Italian, Greek immigrants. As Australia is made up of a lot of people from all over the world. And it's what has built Australia. So... Um, football clubs have essentially been um, a chance where um, everyone is able to connect um, with their neighbours and, and with their uh, mutual citizens. So I'd like to leave that for the time being so I can just talk about AFL Indonesia um, because if we can just uh, uh, imagine the concept of Australian community uh, football clubs um, and why they're yeah. around. And the benefit to the community. Let's just put that on, uh, let's pause that for a moment and we'll kind of talk about that for in Indonesia. Uh, Evelyn, I don't have a, uh, that's the perfect slide for this actually. So we'll probably just leave it to um, Is uh, now AFL Indonesia has been in uh, uh, Indonesia since 1995. Um, so um, Australians who are living in Indonesia. Um, Australians, wherever they go around the world, when I was living in Denmark, um, I played football. When I went to America um, for about six months, I played some football there too. And when I was in um, Indonesia, of course, um, I missed my football. So I'd meet up with other Australians to play football. But in Indonesia, it was more special because the Australians there, not only did they want to play football with themselves, but they saw an opportunity to teach their neighbours who are Indonesian, um, their friends um, and their staff. Look, we enjoy this activity. Um, come along and join us. And it started to grow from there um, to the point where um, at, uh, we had, we've had a, a AFL Indonesian, I, I can't confirm all the numbers currently, but there's been tens of thousands of Indonesians who have passed through um, uh, the clubs in Indonesia. Um, since 1995, whether they've trained, they've played, uh, they've come along and just enjoyed uh, and so on, but they've uh, had a, a participation uh, in Australian football over these years. Now, um, as, as this grew, we had a lot, we started to have a lot more Indonesians and we started to think, maybe we should make an Indonesian team made up of just Indonesians. And so we would, uh, in 20, uh, 2013, um, there was the, uh, I beg your pardon, 2014, uh, there was the, um, uh, the International Cup for AFL and Melbourne hosted national teams. It was essentially the World Cup, but it was amateur, not professional. It was essentially the World Cup and Indonesia uh, put in the team. Um, and we're very proud of that. Um, Evelyn, if you could um, skip through a bit, you'll actually see uh, some images of uh, the national team. What we... Um, uh, what we discovered was uh, probably a couple more, I think. The uh, next one. There you go. Um, 
we this is actually over two competitions so it was an international cup 14 um an international cup 17 uh, the following one was every three years now we were able to build numbers um and bring indonesians over this of course was the first time many of these indonesians had uh traveled outside of indonesia so of course the first time to australia um and they were playing against teams from the us from um europe um, there was a Chinese team, India, uh, and so on. Um, and uh, this was um, yeah, Indonesia's uh, first introduction to the International Cup. Now, um, there was mixed success. Um, they were quite competitive on the first, uh, in the first series. They only won one match, and I think that was against Team India. Um, and uh, the, I think what was highlighted was um, uh, the, uh, the Indonesians who play were really only able to play um, a couple of days uh, or train a couple of uh, once a week and play once a month while in Indonesia. Um, but in Australia, you train at least twice a week and you play once a week. Um, and I felt that this is something that uh, to help build Indonesia's skill level, uh, we need to get more Indonesians playing um, Australian rules football. Uh, in Australia and experiencing one, the club uh, um, environment, and also um, just being exposed to a high, higher level of football. It's really difficult to bring Indonesians over to Australia just to play football. It costs a lot of money um, and, uh, and so on. But we have a lot of Indonesians in Australia. I believe at one point it was about 50,000 uh, Indonesian students um, uh, in Australia at one point. Um, and then obviously we have diplomats and we have other business people. Now the idea being um, that the Krakatoas is an opportunity for Indonesians already in Australia to learn football. I would introduce them to a game, um, uh, or we, sorry, the group of us would, in, uh, would introduce uh, the Indonesians to football. They would learn that if they enjoyed it, um, then it was an opportunity for them to go to other clubs around Melbourne. So ours was a, our, our club was a no contact um, and a light version of, of, of football. Um, but Australian rules football is played on a large pitch. It's full contact and it go, and a game goes for about two hours. Um, Evelyn, I think there's, a, um, there's some pictures of um, uh, Fee, uh, there you go, go back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. All right. So um, once you enjoy the Krakatoas, you can just stay and keep playing with us. But in winter, um, I, I don't, it's too cold for me to play. And it's probably too cold for a lot of other Indonesians to play as well. But those that love um, what they're experiencing in the summer, in this light game, that would then, because they had learnt the skills, that would give them an opportunity to join clubs around Melbourne. Um, you can see um, uh, you can see those uh, those uh, uh, five players. So in the top left hand corner, we actually have Hario here today. Um, G'day, Hario. Hello, um, Mas Hario. Boleh nunggu sebentar. Yeah, that's me. Uh, about ten to two. 20 kilos ago, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, because the principle being, um, the Cracker Tolls is an opportunity to get an introduction. Wow. And this would, and then this would, um, and you're in an, the Cracker Tolls is an, an environment where you're amongst Indonesians. Um, you're in a safe area. Uh, in in the sense that you don't feel exposed to um, people and languages and cultures you're not familiar with, the Australians that are our part of the Krakatoas have to be connected to Indonesia in one way. So obviously, I lived in Indonesia for a while, and most of um, the other Australian uh, participants in the Krakatoas um, uh, study Indonesian or or connected in another way. And now this, um, some of our, our Krakatoas players decided to go into um, an Australian club. So starting in the top left, you've got Hario and Rio. Now they, um, they joined uh, South Melbourne and they trained um, a few times with them. Um, I'll let, if Hario ever has an opportunity to talk about his experiences, I believe they're positive, but I think we can talk endlessly about 
whether uh, he felt welcomed and, and so on. Uh, the next one across is Fee. Um, now, Fee, uh, she um, actually had spent a little bit of time in Australia uh, playing football um, in school. Now, she came across to the Krakatoas um, to es essentially uh, uh, reconnect with um, uh, her community, um, improve her football skills, I guess, um, and also play against adults. Um, and she joined South Melbourne uh, Football Club. Um, this was in uh, this picture was taken in the change rooms after their final game, um, and I think the faces at all. The bottom left we can see is Yeni. You can see her sitting there. Now Yeni, um, her first exposure to football was of, um, like most was uh, through the Krakatoas, um, and after a couple of seasons with the Krakatoas, she joined Monash Uni Football Club. Um, she has now played, I think, three seasons, uh, two or three seasons with Monash Football Club. And um, she has uh, played a couple of games in the A team uh, rather than the reserves team. So her skills are improving. Um, it's full contact. We have lots of videos, but I didn't want to uh, um, uh, use up data and, or at least signal space um, by presenting them. And then over in the bottom right is probably one of the most uh, um, so, uh, Bayou it's probably one of the most um, successful um, football players that the Indonesian community has produced um, he's represented Indonesia he's played South Melbourne his skills are phenomenal his skills are actually better than mine um, uh, now uh, and, in, and when it comes to talking about football um, he talks about like he's got football in his DNA so um, Bayou moved to Australia uh, a few years ago um, and uh, Bayou was also president um, of the Krakatoas at one point um, and I'll talk more about um, uh, I guess how that plays out into the Krakatoas activities as well. So that is essentially one, um, one main reason for the, the Krakatoas. You can see we have here Indonesians who are now integrated within um, Australian society. They are, there is no difference between uh, them and me and anyone else who would join a football club and something I'm extraordinarily proud of. I know that now that Hario, um, I believe Bayou, has, has gone back to Indonesia. Um, Yeni is still here, but she will be going back. Anna and Evelyn, uh, while they haven't, uh, they've had a lighter version of the uh, football experience, um, they often talk about um, the community feeling uh, that they felt in being part of a football club and how that impacted their experiences and their memories of, of Melbourne. Um, so, yeah. All right. Um, what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, um, I'll probably um, I'll probably like to explain a couple of the photos that are there. So, Evan, would you mind just flicking back up to the top um, to where we have the MC? Mamo, 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 Mamo. All right. So joining a football club isn't just um, isn't just learning how to play. Now, as I talked about earlier, with the objectives of AFL Indonesia, um, and I guess growing the game in Indonesia. I also hope that while they had a great, while um, um, many of the Krakatoas enjoyed their time in Australia, that once they move back to um, Indonesia, they won't forget, um, uh, I guess, the community and the club feel of, um, that was presented in Australia and something that I hope they felt was unique and start to, I guess, um, grow the game in Indonesia. Now, um, Evelyn, I believe, touched on the teams that we have um, in AFL Indonesia, and that is, uh, there was one in uh, Balikpapan, also Bali uh, in Jakarta. Um, and while you can learn football and play it, why not give them some, some skills? And so the AFL, uh, which is essentially the FIFA of, uh, um, of Australian football, um, has coaching uh, courses. And Anna and Eri um, were the first Indonesians um, to uh, be uh, accredited coaches recognized by the AFL. And Anna, uh, which you can see there, and she'll speak later today, and she'll probably mention it, is uh, she's the first Asian uh, lady 
um, to be an AFL accredited coach. Um, I don't know if you can see it on my face, but I'm extraordinarily proud, like for for Anna, um, and also for the fact that Indonesia themselves can just have their um, have their mark on on the growth of football, Aussie rules football in um, uh, around the world. And you can see also how Anna has brought that her skills um, to uh, Salatiga. And uh, I believe she had about 150 ladies in uh, EREN um, University in Salatiga um, in some of her clinics. Um, amazing. Uh, someone's got their hand up. Yogi? Okay. Uh, yeah, Yogi Manjuneza mau bertanya. Silakan. Atau mungkin salah pencet ya? <laughs> Dude, salah does anyone... Pencet, oh, oke. Okay. Yeah. Halo, yeah. Yogi. Salah pencet, salah pencet. <laughs> oke, okay, nanti kalau mau bertanya boleh raise hand ya. Oke, okay. uh, okay, you can continue, Ian. <laughs> also, um, I understand that um, I'm only speaking English. Um, and there may be many things that I'm saying that could be lost. I'm, I, I apologize for that. Um, if you do have, if you do need clarification on anything I've said, just put your hand up. I'm happy to uh, revisit that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, um, that that is I mean, this is what the images that we're looking at here is a bonus um, of the Krakatoa's um, model. Um, it's not just giving them experiences; it's upskilling them, and um, and the fact that this is, I guess, <laughs> voluntary. I've never asked uh, someone. Uh, I said, "Anna, go open a club." Never said that. <laughs> but the fact that she was so inspired um, by her experiences uh, is really heartwarming. Um, and Eddie as well, um, um, that you can see on the left hand side. Um, Eddie has also uh, had some football clinics. He is a, uh, I believe, a school principal um, just outside of Bandung. Um, and he's um, introduced football to many of his students. Now, whether those students go on and play for the national team or not, doesn't matter. The real key behind Australian rules football, again, is focusing on the club mentality, where regardless of where you're from, um, regardless of who you are, um, we come together as a team. Um, we have the same objective. We, we either want to win or we want to help each other try to win. And when you work together, um, it cre creates a camaraderie um, that is um, rarely, um, rarely replicated in other um, in other scenarios. All right. Uh, then um, next uh, image, please. So <laughs> everyone will keep flicking over that that image, but I'm very proud of it. <laughs> if you go back to the Evelyn, go back there. <laughs> just, just for three seconds. Just for three seconds. You, you can start from this photo, yeah. You can start from this photo then. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll post it uh, in the chat section or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'll just talk about that image. Um, uh, I think that image epitomizes um, the Krakatoas, and that is um, uh, uh, Evelyn. Was that in uh, Padang? Uh, cultural costume. Iya, yeah, jadi uh, yeah. ini ada uh, saya menggunakan uh, baju adat Polo. Waktu itu saya sedang tampil nari, tapi uh, karena ada uh, AFL, jadi saya juga harus pakai baju AFL. So I was just put it on. <laughs> Dan, well, not just putting on. You also did a hand pass into. Oh iya, yeah, uh, saya juga. Yeah. Uh, oh, iya, melempar bola ini ya. Jadi, yeah. waktu itu ada dua, saya juga uh, tampil menari dan juga uh, merepresentasikan AFL di acara yeah. di KBRI, uh, di okay. ya, yeah, di KJRI Melbourne. Uh. Thank you. All right, yeah, so go, um, we'll uh, flip through if you would. There's a picture of Anna uh, at the parade. Um, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So, Back to the acceptance, back to enriching your Melbourne experience. Um, this, uh, um, uh, I think, um, yeah, so Indonesia has uh, Hari Madeka on uh, the 17th of August. Um, Australia has a similar day, um, probably different principles, but essentially our national day, which is the 20th, uh, 26th 
of January. January. And there is an Australia Day parade. And nothing says Australia more than having many nations represented um, walking through the streets of Melbourne and having um, local Melbournians um, on the sidelines cheering and clapping and proud of um, the people that have come uh, to our country and contributed. Um, now, it's not just football. Um, there are many uh, communities um, that are represented, whether it's um, musical bands, um, whether it's um, martial arts, um, it's schools and um, uh, uh, various uh, various community programs that don't have to be sport related. The point being is um, that Australia is only Australia because of the um, the, the many cultures um, and the many people that have come to come here, and we're proud to have them. Um, and uh, so, I uh, having um, uh, we were invited. Um, uh, Got the Krakatoas, I guess, were recognised as a as an organisation that represented Indonesia um, in at least in sport, and we we're invited to participate in this parade. Um, and yeah, uh, I, this is um, a special moment and, and reflects uh, what I hope to what I hoped the Krakatoas would achieve in having our Indonesian uh, friends and guests uh, feel welcome um, uh, and and part of our city. Um, okay, if you could go up one, please, Evelyn. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. Oops. Up to this. Uh, next. 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 There we go. So, I want to. I just want to talk about touch on the football aspect, the sports side of things. So this isn't just okay. This is the Krakatoa's claim, and these images. Um, say a lot for, um, for what we've achieved um, on, this, on the field from a sporting perspective. Um, now, on the left-hand side, you can see Bayou. Um, he's taking a mark. Now, uh, when someone kicks the ball and then you catch it, you get a free kick. And it's an important, um, it's an important way for us to progress the ball towards your goal, because the field was very big, 150 meters from one end to the other. Um, so no one can kick 150 meters. <laughs> I've tried, doesn't work. Um, but uh, the way you try to get the ball down is kicking it to your teammate who's ahead of you and they catch it. And if you catch it, the other team can't uh, touch you. Now, um, Anna and Evelyn, um, Evelyn actually probably yeah. still has a bit of a scar um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when she tried to mark the ball once. Yeah, jadi bolanya kena muka ya, Pak. So this, this, is an amazing, this, this says a lot for me, um, that we have Indonesians playing against Australians. Again, it comes back to orang Indonesia main footy pasti bisa. Um, this is Indonesians playing against Australians who have grown up playing football at school, um, after school, during, uh, once have grown up and become adults and they do it after work and so on. Um, they've played in leagues, um, but these are experienced football players. And you can see probably the shortest young Paling Padek, Dendek, Orang in our team being Bayou. Um, he is outmarking um, and someone who is taller and obviously a lot more experienced. And you can see the same there with Yanka. Uh, now, Yanka um, actually ended up being the head of, um, I believe, PSSE um, when he went back to, um, to Indonesia. Um, but when he was in Melbourne study, um, he uh, was part of the Krakatoas. And there you can see he's um, uh, taking a mark. Um, over another tall Australian. Um, and then uh, Yanka um, obviously taking his free kick. And that's pretty good style, I, I might add. So those of you that know football will see that the ball is pointing in the right direction. His hand, uh, both hands um, are well balanced. And uh, um, that was going to be a good kick. So um, that is, I guess, the Krakatoa's achievement there. 
Um, and then if we just circle back, um, don't worry about the images, but just a side note, um, yeah, if we just circle back, that, uh, that therefore um, enables more Indonesians to join Monash, South Melbourne, uh, and other clubs. Um, look, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wind up very quickly. I think um, the, the real, yeah, touching on what I've, I've mentioned earlier and for fear of uh, repeating myself, apologies that I am. It's important for me that the relationship between Australia and Indonesia is a natural relationship. Um, it can be, um, uh, and Evelyn, you can go to whichever picture uh, you like uh, uh, while I'm wrapping up. But essentially, um, it's, uh, I think that we can say nice things about each other and we can do nice things, maybe give each other gifts. Our politicians um, meet, they shake hands, they smile for the camera. Um, you know, we might give each other a gift. You know, we receive um, a uh, puppet wayan or, uh, you know, we give... Uh, maybe a, a, a baby kangaroo or something. Um, but that's, to me, that's just for the time being, it's very short term. And it doesn't really show that the relationship can be um, genuine um, and that it can be natural as well. Um, and this, um, for the Krakatoa's um, model is to create honest and genuine relationships with um, the Indonesians that come to Melbourne um, and that they're able to naturally um, build relationships outside the Indonesian community while they're in Australia, um, that they don't just stay um, amongst their own friends and still eat their own food. If I go to Indonesia and I only eat McDonald's and I only uh, drink beer, I think many Indonesians will think that I didn't experience Indonesia. Um, and so uh, this is the same. Um, it, we, Indonesians will enjoy their time in Australia um, as long as they can build relationships with, uh, um, with other Australians. Um, and that's not just in football, but that's once they go to university and when they get a job. Um, so that their, their workmates become friends, not just people that they um, work together with. Um, and yeah, I think that um, um, even though there's only been about 200 or so Indonesians that have passed through the Krakatoas, the point is that they have passed through, it's only a small <laughs> amount, but it will build. And their experiences, I hope are permanent uh, happy memories. Um, and while Evelyn, Hario, um, uh, Eddie, and uh, Anna, and so on, uh, and many others. Uh, while they've been back in Indonesia now for many years, um, I believe that those feelings that they have about um, Australia um, are still strong. Um, and that those feelings, um, they pass on to their friends and colleagues in, in, in Indonesia, and they then influence um, um, the perception of Australians uh, in Indonesia. Now I'm saying um, the perception of Australians, but them being part of um, uh, the Krakatoas and then making relationships in Australia with Australians changes our perception of Indonesians as well. So that's it. <laughs> okay. Ya, terima kasih Ian. Uh, ya, jadi kalau uh, sama seperti ini ya, kalau Ian Nanti ke Indonesia, jangan makan McD, tapi makannya nasi padang, ya. <laughs> ya, yeah, jadi uh, that's also how um, uh, saya, Bu Ana, dan juga di sini ya, di foto ini, uh, pergi ke Melbourne, dan juga kita coba gimana sih olahraga di Australia, gitu. Bagaimana sih AFL, gitu. Jadi uh, uh, bisa menambah uh, pemahaman tentang budaya dan juga Uh, uh, ya yeah, intercultural understanding tadi ya jadi uh, bisa menambah pengalaman juga gitu oke okay, thank you Ian uh, and thank you for the photos uh, ya yeah, it reminds me uh, of a good memories of course uh, back in Melbourne ya yeah, jadi jadi ingat uh, ini beberapa tahun lalu ya sekitar tiga atau empat tahun yang lalu 
kami diundang di TV uh, lokal uh, Melbourne Uh, dan uh, ya waktu itu kami juga hadir uh, dan diwawancarai seperti itu. Jadi uh, menarik bisa melihat uh, orang-orang Indonesia wah ternyata juga bisa nampang nih di TV Australia gitu ya dengan uh, baju AFL. <laughs> Oke, okay. alright. Um, so uh, for the next, mungkin tadi juga ada beberapa slide yang sudah ditampilkan oleh Ian Foto. Uh, yang menunjukkan ada Bu Ana di sana. Nah, nanti kita dengarkan juga bagaimana sih cerita dari Bu Ana uh, terlibat ya di dalam uh, kegiatan AFL ini. Dan uh, tadi juga sebenarnya ada pertanyaan ya dari Ibu Nisa Aldani. Terima kasih Bu pertanyaannya. What different Australian football and American football? Nah, mungkin tadi sudah dilihatkan bolanya mungkin hampir mirip ya Bu ya. Uh, tapi dengan uh, caranya, jadi bisa ditendang, bisa dilempar, juga dan bisa ditangkap gitu jadi caranya ada banyak kalau untuk uh, futi ini mungkin nanti untuk lebih jelasnya kita bisa uh, uh, nonton video mungkin ya bu ya nanti bareng bareng alright uh, so next Ana Surjanto so I'd like to just um, uh, give a little bit introduction tentang bu Ana ini Ana is a long um, apa ya is a long uh, Uh, experience <laughs> friends. Jadi uh, saya dan Bu Ana sudah bertemu dari tahun mungkin 2000 uh, waktu kita S1 dulu ya Bu Ana sudah sangat lama. Uh, but we uh, really enjoy uh, organizational and also like uh, young young uh, people activities. So that's why we uh, cross path again. Jadi kami bertemu lagi di Melbourne sama-sama uh, kuliah di Monash University. Dan di sana uh, Ana uh, terlibat juga di Krakatoa Football Club dan saat ini um, karena Ana berdomisili dulunya di Salatiga uh, dan Ana juga menjadi uh, salah satu pengajar di IAIN Salatiga dan uh, Ana juga mengajar uh, mem membuat sebuah program jadi namanya coaching klinik AFL di sana jadi melatih mahasiswa mahasiswi ya terutama ya perempuan-perempuan untuk belajar AFL wah ternyata AFL ini juga bisa loh dimainkan oleh perempuan dan uh, menariknya, uh, karena Bu Ana ini juga uh, alumni dari Monash Australia dan uh, mendapatkan uh, hibah dari Australian Global Alumni untuk menjalankan program ini, yaitu virtual tour dari AFL. Jadi, uh, kegiatan AFL uh, webinar ini akan berjalan di berbagai kota. Jadi, sebelumnya sudah berlangsung di Medan dan saat ini ada di Padang. Dan berikutnya mungkin di kota lain. gitu. Nah, jadi... Uh, Uh, I think that's all. And Anna juga adalah sebagai salah satu uh, uh, certified ya yang sudah tersertifikasi pelatih AFL Junior uh, dan pertama woman woman uh, the first woman uh, coach uh, for AFL in uh, it is Southeast Asia atau apa Anna? In Indonesia, and I think yeah, Indonesia. Southeast Asia, Asia. <laughs> <laughs> ya mungkin nanti akan jadi, akan lebih luas ya uh, dan juga bisa menjadi pelatih atau datang ke Padang juga untuk ikut latihan bareng-bareng sama kami di sini. Oke okay, ya, uh, ya di, silakan kepada Ana Serjanto. Ya terima kasih Evelyn atas kesempatannya. Selamat pagi semuanya dan uh, saya akan menggunakan bahasa Inggris sama bahasa Indonesia campur ya gado-gado hari ini. Ya thank you so much my amazing coach. <laughs> <laughs> Jadi saya itu mengenal Krakatoa seperti yang Bu Evelyn sudah sebutkan saat dulu saya kuliah di Australia di Monash University. Nah, ketika apa kuliah itu kan biar tidak hanya akademik saja tetapi juga gimana sih biar kita sehat kayak gitu ya. Jadi ini saya share slide juga gitu. Terus olahraga apa sih yang terkenal di Australia kayak gitu. Nah, setelah uh, ada informasi, ternyata ada klub namanya Krakatoas gitu. Jadi, wah ini klub gimana ya? Kok uh, gabungan sama orang Indonesia sama Australia keren sekali gitu. Bermain footy ya, atau AFL. Jadi, footy itu bahasa slang atau bahasa gaulnya dari football gitu. Biar gampang dipanggil footy gitu. Nah, kalau AFL itu Australian Football League atau nama resminya 
Terus juga ini saya mengenal Krakatoas dari teman saya juga Sofi saat itu dia sudah main duluan gitu. Terus ketika saya apa awalnya itu saya malu sebenarnya ini nanti kalau saya tidak bisa gimana bolanya kok lonjong gitu ya. Jadi bolanya kok over gitu. Nah terus saya tetap coba datang gitu weekend gitu terus uh, bertemulah Ian uh, our coach. Jadi Ian itu pelatih kita di klub Krakatoas. Kemudian Ian Uh, ini juga di fotonya, ini nomor tiga, si Ian. <laughs> Jadi Ian uh, memperkenalkan kita footy, kemudian juga uh, dari uh, gerakan dasar ya, ada hand pass. Jadi bagaimana kita bisa ngoper bola ke temannya. Ada tiga skill sih yang dasar ya, ada hand pass, kemudian ada marking sama kicking. Nah awalnya saya itu nggak begitu bagus ya tendangannya gitu, tetapi uh, Ian always encourage us gitu ya. Jadi Ian terus memotivasi kita untuk... Uh, apa terus uh, berlatih gitu dan uh, dengan kata-kata yang menyemangati sekali misalnya teman-teman juga bilang well done Ana good job very good dari situ saya merasa wah kok seru sekali ya terus teman-teman saling menyemangati saling mensupport gitu kan jadi dari sini saya semakin uh, apa ya kayak excited gitu untuk terus ikut training setiap weekend biar sehat juga gitu kan dan juga uh, tidak hanya olahraga futi kadang juga kita menonton di MCG gitu ya menonton Uh, yang EFL resminya yang nasional gitu di Melbourne Cricket Ground terus saya mendukung klub uh, klub Collingwood tapi ini klub nasional ya klub nasional <laughs> saya mendukung Collingwood jadi saya sama teman-teman Krakatoas Evelyn sama Claris teman-teman semuanya tentu sama Ian kita juga nonton nah kok uh, seru sekali ya gitu maka Uh, setelah saya pulang ke Indonesia, lulus dari Monash 2018. After I graduated from Monash in 2018, I went home and then I bring the FL spirit gitu. Terus juga uh, Ian encourage me, uh, footy is not only sport gitu ya. Terus I use this sport, this uh, footy ball to empower women. Kemudian saya kan ngajar di salah tiga. Nah uh, setelah saya sampai di salah tiga, uh, apa? Ini ada uh, teman-teman, adik-adik anak mahasiswa dari IAIN, ada juga gadis-gadis di salah tiga gitu. Mereka juga penasaran gitu tentang pengalaman saya dari Australia, pengalaman saya bermain footy gitu kan. Terus saya coba mengadakan training juga hari Sabtu di Jawa Tengah. Kemudian ternyata banyak sekali yang datang lebih dari 100 orang gitu. Nah dari sini saya merasa bahwa Futi itu luar biasa sekali ya ketika anak-anak yang di salah tiga awalnya malu, tidak percaya diri, kemudian mereka jadi mencoba hand pass, mencoba mengoper bola ke temannya, terus saling tepuk tangan, ada sedikit juga belajar bahasa Inggris gitu. Jadi uh, ini juga melatih uh, apa kepercayaan diri untuk anak-anak di Jawa Tengah khususnya ini perempuan-perempuan ya di salah tiga. Jadi mereka setelah ikut beberapa training senang terus ada perubahan gitu terus juga mereka bisa lebih sehat dan bisa lebih mengenal teman-temannya itu kalau dari foto sekilas seperti itu kemudian juga ketika saya ke Jakarta ada juga klub footy yaitu Jakarta Bintang AFL Indonesia untuk menambah kapasitas saya biar saya masih terus bergaul dengan Australia dengan orang-orang Australia kan ada juga klub-klub yang di Indonesia salah satunya adalah Jakarta Bintang jadi I join Jakarta Bintang when I was in Jakarta and I am actually just moved to South Tangerang jadi saya juga ikut latihan lagi to develop my skill, untuk menambah skill saya juga bersama teman-teman Jakarta Bintang di Jakarta gitu ya, terus uh, pernah juga ini melatih anak uh, MTS Yasda gitu, jadi teman-teman di Padang nanti yang tertarik nanti semoga kita bisa nyobain ya Evelyn ya, FL Clinic in Padang <laughs> hopefully ya, oke okay. dan seru banget, nah kalau misalnya mau lihat video izin sebentar ya Elinia, satu menit uh, biar juga uh, tahu kayak apa sih kalau di Jawa Tengah ya ini ada video tapi ya, ini video kebetulan yang membuat dari Monash gitu
Iya, itu ya sekelas video AFL klinik di uh, Central Java di Jawa Tengah gitu ya. Seru sekali bermain putri. I love putri and it makes me healthy and happy and hopefully this AFL training not only in Central Java ya someday in Padang. Oke, okay, thank you so much Evelyn. This is from my experience. Of course, thank you Ian for wonderful experience from Australia and I still bring it to Indonesia. Oke, okay, terima kasih Ana. Uh, ya, jadi seru banget ya kegiatan yang ada di IAIN salah tiga. Dan nanti kita juga uh, semoga bisa bikin kegiatan serupa di uh, Padang, di lapangan uh, latihan kita sendiri ya, di kampus ya. <laughs> dan uh, nanti bisa difasilitasi juga oleh bapak-bapak dan ibu dosen di sana. Oke, okay, um, Nah, itu tadi penjelasan singkat dari uh, Ian dan juga Ana tentang bagaimana sih AFL di Australia itu dan uh, ya kenapa sih bisa berkembang di Indonesia gitu. Jadi ternyata memang banyak yang berminat dan uh, tentu saja AFL ini menjadi sarana untuk uh, mengenal budaya sekaligus belajar bahasa Inggris juga gitu ya. Jadi teman-teman bisa belajar bahasa Inggris dengan uh, sekaligus berolahraga gitu ya. Jadi Uh, ini kesempatan yang sangat uh, menarik gitu buat teman-teman di sini yang juga berminat nantinya untuk membuat sebuah tim kecil. Kita mulai dulu nanti bikin tim kecil siapa yang berminat, lalu nanti bisa uh, secara uh, ini ya secara uh, berlanjut gitu untuk bikin latihan gitu. Saya sendiri sebenarnya juga kangen banget main AFL, maksudnya bermain futi ini ya uh, karena sudah lama tidak tidak main sejak di, sejak berada di Padang. Namun uh, ya kita kita bisa kok kita bisa uh, organize nanti uh, uh, permainannya dan juga nanti bisa dapat bola itu ya Bu Ana ya bisa nanti dikirimin ke Padang ya. <laughs> Iya yeah. nanti uh, didiskusikan misalin. Oke. Okay. Nah iya jadi uh, satu hal lagi. Jadi ternyata AFL ini juga ada tim-timnya. Nah mungkin tadi uh, Bu Ana itu sudah memperlihatkan kalau bolanya berwarna hitam putih. Nah itu nama timnya apa Bu Ana? Collingwood. Collingwood. Nah itu adalah tim uh, yang didukung oleh Bu Ana. Dan uh, ada juga logonya ya. Uh, logo Collingwood itu uh, seperti burung warna hitam putih, burung magpies gitu. Nah kalau saya, saya mendukung North Melbourne. Jadi North Melbourne itu berwarna biru putih seperti ini. Uh, jumpernya mungkin kelihatan tidak ya? Uh, ya mungkin kelihatan sedikit. <laughs> nah seperti ini. Jadi North Melbourne itu uh, lambangnya adalah kanguru gitu. Nah kalau Ian, Ian, what uh, what team that are you going? <laughs> that are you supporting? Ah, Hawks. Okay, maybe you move it a bit to the uh, yeah the blue side. Okay. Nah jadi ada Hawthorn. Nah. Hawthorn atau Hawks itu juga melambangkan gambar burung apa ya? Is it elang atau burung Garuda or <laughs> um, sorry Ian, uh, I think you're still on mute. Yeah, alright. Hawk, Hawk is like a small eagle maybe. Ah, um, they they, they, atta they attack they attack things like kangaroos and they attack mm. uh, magpies. <laughs> Uh. Uh, ya, jadi mungkin burung yang lebih besar ya uh, ukurannya ya dan ya itu uh, nama grupnya adalah Hawthorn warnanya coklat kuning gitu. Nah, jadi teman-teman pun juga bisa nanti uh, mencari tahu apa aja sih klub-klubnya dan bisa memilih juga mau mendukung siapa. Karena saat ini di Australia atau di Melbourne ya khususnya sedang berlangsung pertandingan futi. Nah, sekarang sudah hampir di grand final uh, dan tadi malam itu baru saja bertanding Tanding klub uh, Jilong Cats ya Jilong Cats jadi itu melambangkan uh, kucing uh, timnya namanya Jilong dan ada satu lagi uh, melawan uh, tadi malam itu Brisbane Lions gitu nah jadi uh, gambar uh, singa gitu ya Brisbane Lions nah jadi ada banyak tim yang mungkin teman-teman bisa uh, lihat lagi nanti. Uh, dan nanti semoga di Grand Final minggu depan ya minggu depan itu adalah AFL Grand Final. Nah kalau kita memang tertarik nih untuk tahu bagaimana pertandingannya, kita bisa mungkin organize ya kita bikin uh, nonton bareng <laughs> nonton bareng Grand Final AFL gitu. Nah nanti bisa nonton langsung uh, melalui uh, uh, ya ada aplikasi Watch AFL namanya. Nanti saya bisa bantu fasilitasi. 
Oke, nah sekarang kita sampai di sesi tanya jawab. Ada beberapa pertanyaan yang sudah masuk ke kolom chat. Pertama dari Fadel Herma Yuda tadi ya. Uh, I want to ask you, sir, ada open recruitment nggak to join football club sekarang? Nah, sebenarnya kalau Krakatoa's football team itu juga uh, kapanpun bisa menerima teman-teman kalau mau bermain, tapi harus ke Melbourne dulu. <laughs> nah, tapi kalau di... Padang, nanti kita bantu, e, dibantu sama Pak Ardo, sama Pak Mario. Mungkin kalau teman-teman tertarik bisa daftar dulu, dicatat dulu aja namanya ya Pak ya. E, nanti, e, ya nanti bisa hubungi e, dosen-dosennya di sini. Ada Pak Mario dan Pak Ardo, nanti bisa daftarkan namanya. Gitu. Lalu e, ada pertanyaan lagi dari Yandre Jaya Meranda Guto. Nah, dari Fakulti of Sport juga. Uh, thank you for coming. I want to ask you, Mr. Ian, apa harapan Mr. Ian nih untuk uh, olahraga di masa depan? Oke. Okay. What are your hopes yeah. for this, this sport? Um, look, there, there are two aspects. Um, um, the sport is one aspect. And of course, I would love uh, for Australian football to be more popular around the world. Um, and of course in Indonesia, um, but my primary focus, um, even, even when I talk about AFL Indonesia and the national team, uh, Garudas, my primary focus is that, um, uh, the, it sounds like a cliche, but that the Australian and Indonesian people understand each other better, uh, that we're closer, that we have more things in common. Um, now there are many, many activities that can achieve that outcome. And there's many sports that can achieve that outcome also. It doesn't have to be Australian football, but I choose Australian football because it's a sport that I know. And it's also a sport that the majority of Australians like and enjoy, and it creates a natural connection um, because we can, we can open We can open uh, Silat in, in Melbourne. We can do, um, uh, what do you call it? We can do basketball and all that sort of stuff. But the prime, if, like, and Anna, Evelyn, and Hario, and everyone, um, Angi is here as well. Hello, Angi. Um, they can all tell you that um, uh, when you're in Australia, people only talk about Australian rules football. Like everyone has an opinion about Australia. You ask someone else about basketball, they're like, oh yeah, like, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe and all that sort of stuff. But it's just, um, football is the vehicle um, for the outcome. Um, and so I could get the same results with Anna um, and Evelyn and so on uh, with tennis. Um, but the, the uh, opportunities to connect with Australians is a smaller percentage of, of Australians, whereas uh, Australian rules football is just um, obviously going to be, um, you know, 80% of, of people who live in uh, Melbourne, Sydney, uh, Melbourne uh, Adelaide, Perth, Tasmania, Darwin, um, and parts of Sydney and Brisbane. Um, so that, yeah, my objectives for the sport, um, my, my objectives is that more Indonesians play it so that they can um, get a better understanding of who we are and also so Australians can get a better understanding of Indonesians. Because don't forget, this was at the time <clears throat> I arrived in Indonesia, saya datang di Indonesia 2004 sampai 2015. And in that time, we had um, uh, Chappelle Kobe, the Australian drugs, We had um, the terrorist attacks in uh, Bali, Jakarta, the Australian embassy bombing. We had many things that made the wrong news in Australia. And then Australian politicians or people would react. Um, and so the Indonesian, Indonesian politicians and Indonesian media would be saying things and I would be looking, I would read the news. I'm like, Australians are not like that. And, And then I'd read the Australian news, Indonesians are not like that. Like, you know, there was just so much that they didn't understand about each other. Um, and that's why they would come shake hands, smile for the cameras, and it was very superficial. Mm -hmm. So 
my 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 hopes for the sport is that um, whatever sport, but I guess Australian football, that it opens um, opportunities for uh, Indonesians and Australians to um, have their experiences about each other that doesn't rely on the media and on the politicians. Okay. Alright, um, ya jadi uh, itu ya harapannya Ian Cira bahwa sebenarnya hubungan uh, bilateral antara Indonesia dan Australia itu bisa diperkuat dengan adanya olahraga seperti itu. Jadi uh, tidak hanya uh, mungkin ada sempat konflik ya yang terjadi beberapa tahun lalu uh, tentang bagaimana sih sebenarnya Australia terhadap Indonesia gitu. Namun kita bisa um, mengubah ya mengubah pemahaman kita bahwa sebenarnya mengenal Australia dengan uh, hubungan uh, apa kekerabatan melalui olahraga ini nih gitu ya. Jadi uh, ada uh, hal positif yang tetap bisa berlanjut melalui olahraga gitu. Jadi pertemanan ataupun juga uh, hubungan bilateral itu bisa terjalin melalui mengenal melalui uh, ini olahraga ini ya, dikenal melalui olahraga. Gitu. Um, ya, terima kasih Ian. Ada lagi pertanyaan di sini teman-teman? Ada yang mau langsung bertanya mungkin? Silahkan. Oh ya. Uh, um, asking about the difference between Australian and American football. Oh ya, yeah. tadi ada pertanyaan dari Ibu Nisa ya, Nisa Aldani hmm. tentang itu. Ya. Yeah, I think mau... Evelyn, you touched on it. Um, yeah. But um, there are a, there's a couple of uh, technical differences how you handle the ball and what you have to do and so on. Um, but uh, I guess um, the other difference is that it's very athletic. Australian rules football is very athletic. You have to be very fit. Um, and you have to, you don't, um, I think with American football, um, you have people of a different, of a certain size and shape, um, um, or fast and slow. And those characteristics determine what, uh, position you play. Mm. So, um, in American football, they have only one person who kicks the football. Everyone else throws it. And everyone else on the team doesn't know how to kick, kick the American football. Mm -hmm. um, but in Australian rules football, everyone has to do everything. Um, mm -hmm. We we have some tall players who will who will be the ones that jump high and tap, and we have the smaller players who will be quicker. But still, they all still have to do the same thing. They all have to kick. They have to kick goals. They have to hand pass. They have to tackle. They have to run. Uh, 20 kilometers per game um, you know everyone has to be uh, able to do everything whereas with American football if you can only do one thing then you're just a specialist player right ya jadi ada beberapa perbedaan secara teknis uh, karena uh, Australian football ini uh, bisa di, dimainkan oleh siapa saja dan juga siapapun bisa menjadi uh, 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 berposisi di mana uh, yang dia mau gitu ya. Jadi bisa di posisi marking ataupun menendang ataupun juga yang melakukan hand pass gitu. Jadi uh, itu yang uh, bisa di, uh, dilihat ya perbedaannya Ibu. Gitu. Dan juga uh, ya mungkin kalau dilihat tadi ada tim perempuan juga, jadi ada women uh, team uh, untuk AFL, uh, itu juga salah satu uh, apa, uh, hal yang menarik ya dari AFL, bahwa sebenarnya, bahwa sebenarnya AFL itu bisa dimainkan uh, oleh siapapun, seperti itu. karena di sekolah-sekolah pun juga mulai banyak klubnya, gitu. Dan uh, oh ya, sedikit uh, saya share screen tentang... Uh, Oke, okay, ada Prakatos Football Club. Jadi di Facebook kami ada tim, ada uh, ada uh, page-nya ya. Nah, jadi siapa yang mau lihat informasi tentang Krakatoas bisa di sini. Uh, namanya Krakatoas Football Club. Nah, atau ada juga yang mungkin ingin tahu tentang apa sih uh, pertandingan yang sekarang sedang berlangsung. Uh, nah, teman-teman sebenarnya bisa cek di website afl.com.au. Nah, di sini ada um, informasi ya semuanya tentang AFL. Nah, ini tim-tim yang saya sebutkan tadi ada Brisbane Lions, ada Geelong Cats ya, ada Hawks atau Hawthorne, ada North Melbourne Kangaroo dan ada um, ya ada Richmond Tiger juga 
Nah, tadi juga, oh ya, ada Collingwood. Uh, nah, di sini. Nah, jadi ada timnya di sini. Bisa teman-teman lihat perbedaannya. Dan uh, di sini juga ada berita-berita tentang uh, permainannya. gitu apa yang uh, pertandingan apa yang sedang berlangsung uh, dan juga ya kayak kayak ini sih kayak vi, uh, ini juga ya uh, FIFA atau mungkin um, uh, ya kejuaraan uh, sepak bola lainnya nah teman-teman bisa lihat di sini gitu oke ada pertanyaan lain Bapak Nurul Isan nih bertanya when we can start to try this sport in UNP Oke, okay. um, wah, kapan ya? Mungkin ini pertanyaannya um, bisa dijawab kapan, oleh, Evan? ya? <laughs> kapan ya, Bun? Ayo. <laughs> kapan ya? <laughs> Oke, okay. as soon as possible, ya. Yes. Uh, mungkin segera mungkin. Nanti kita lihat jadwalnya uh, dan juga uh, pastinya bantuan dari Fakultas Ilmu uh, Keolahragaan uh, baik. itu dari Pak Dekan, Pak Wakil Dekan, dosen-dosennya juga, Pak Mario, Pak Ardo, Bunisa. Nah, kami harapkan nih kerjasamanya. Kalau boleh, hayo kita langsung ke lapangan, gitu ya, untuk latihan, gitu. Oke, jadi uh, diharapkan uh, segera mungkin kita bisa laksanakan. Oke, ada lagi pertanyaan tentang AFL Indonesia atau apapun pertanyaan tentang uh, 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 mungkin budaya atau mungkin Uh, bagaimana sih uh, kultur yang ada di Australia seperti itu? Silakan boleh bertanya. Oke, okay, mungkin teman-teman di sini yang hadir sebagai peserta. Um, ya. Yeah. I have a question. Oke. Okay. Sekarang Ian yang akan bertanya. <laughs> ya, yeah, silakan Ian. Why, uh, yeah, why are you, um, why are you, why are you wanting to share um, this with your your community in Padang? Ah, okay. Wah, ini pertanyaannya jadi untuk saya nih. <laughs> And you can you can answer in Indonesian because I don't need to know the answer. All right. Okay. <laughs> jadi pertanyaannya Ian, kenapa sih uh, Bu Evelyn atau Bu Ana gitu ya mau um, berbagi tentang kegiatan ini atau olahraga ini ke teman-teman yang ada di komunitas atau di Padang khususnya? Uh, kalau bagi saya. Karena uh, apa yang saya dapatkan, pengalaman yang saya dapatkan selama saya kuliah dulu di Melbourne itu, itu adalah kesempatan yang bisa didapatkan juga oleh teman-teman di sini. Gitu. Jadi uh, ada banyak jalan, ada banyak cara untuk bisa mendapatkan pengalaman internasional, ya, pengalaman uh, di luar negeri, ataupun juga me- me- meningkatkan kemampuan teman-teman dalam memahami uh, budaya yang berbeda. Nah, itu salah satunya ya dengan uh, dengan mengetahui ini ya, dengan mengetahui olahraga ini. Gitu. Mungkin untuk saat ini uh, AFL uh, belum secara resmi uh, ada di uh, uh, olahraganya Indonesia gitu ya. Namun sudah ada timnya dan juga sudah ada alumni-alumni di sini yang uh, ternyata sudah pernah belajar tentang bagaimana AFL. Nah, jadi teman-teman pun di sini bisa tahu lebih banyak terus juga ya saya pun juga uh, bersemangat ya kalau bisa nih Padang bisa bikin satu tim khusus untuk AFL dan uh, ya karena itu akan didukung penuh oleh uh, kedutaan Australia karena uh, secara diplomasi nah olahraga itu menjadi salah satu poin penting yang di uh, yang diharapkan bisa menjalin kerjasama antara Indonesia dan Australia seperti itu so ya yeah, I think it's it's because um, it's, it's It's every everyone has uh, their own uh, yeah, opportunities to get uh, this uh, intercultural exposure in. So yeah, why not? <laughs> Orang Padang <laughs> juga uh, bisa main footy, pasti bisa ya. Yeah? <laughs> pasti bisa. <laughs> <laughs> ya, yeah. Ana ada tambahan? Ya, yeah. Elin sedikit menambahkan 
Um, betul loh kalau dari uh, basic sebenarnya kita bisa lihat secara geografi bahwa Australia itu tetangga kita, close neighbor, tetangga dekat kita gitu kan. Kenapa kita malah lebih familiar sama rugby, hoki, atau American football? Kenapa kita nggak mengenal olahraga tetangga kita gitu? Nah dulu makanya saya sama Mbak Evelyn ketika di Australia itu penasaran gitu. Dan juga selain biar sehat ya, oh ternyata dari uh, footy, FL itu olahraga yang kita itu bisa gampang bergaul sama orang Australia gitu. Maka terjadilah intercultural understanding, pemahaman kalau kita mau sama-sama bergaul, mengenal, dan tentunya lewat olahraga salah satunya FL, itu bisa semakin memperkuat ya ini hubungan baik sesama manusia, konteksnya tetangga negara, yaitu Indonesia sama Australia. Kedua, memang footy di Indonesia itu Klubnya baru beberapa, seperti yang Evelyn sebutkan baru ada di Jakarta, FL, apa Jakarta Bintang, yang Bali Gekos, atau yang di Borneo. Nah, makanya semoga FL ini kalau nanti dari teman-teman juga yang di Fakulti apa Sports Science in UNP gitu ya bisa sama-sama membuat klub. Semoga FL itu semakin besar dan bisa jadi nggak hanya dari Australian Government Support gitu kan, bisa jadi dari Indonesian Government Support. Jadi sama-sama mendukung bagaimana biar AFL itu besar gitu. Tapi tentu uh, biar AFL itu dikenal dulu sama orang-orang di Indonesia. Terus nanti kalau ada klinik nanti bisa didiskusikan dengan Bu Evelyn juga gitu kan. Terus juga biar siapa tahu kedepannya AFL klinik di Padang, terus juga AFL klinik di Salatiga dan di daerah-daerah lain nanti bisa juga disupport sama Kemenpora. Tapi tentu harus uh, masuk KONI dulu misalnya gitu. Jadi itu termasuk juga harapan ke depan, termasuk alumni Australia. Australia ya, Lin, ya, termasuk Mbak Evelyn, semoga FL bisa lebih besar, termasuk bagaimana teman-teman uh, also want to bring this spirit, and then we can work together to know FL, and then we can make better Australia-Indonesia relations. Oke, okay, ya, terima kasih, Ana. Nah, itu, jadi kita memang bisa nih punya kesempatan untuk uh, uh, melakukan uh, latihan langsung ya, AFL ini. Dan juga dengan adanya uh, kegiatan ini di beberapa kota, pastinya nanti uh, akan lebih besar lagi dampaknya gitu ya. Jadi pemerintah bisa... Uh, Ya, bisa membuka peluang bagi AFL itu untuk juga masuk ke dalam list olahraga yang ada di Indonesia. Seperti itu. Oke, ada lagi pertanyaan? Boleh dari Bapak-Ibu dosen mungkin, atau dari mahasiswa-mahasiswa di sini? Sapri? Ya. Oh, Sapri Hidayat. Oke. Okay. Um, Oke, okay. is there a chance for us from the sports education department to join directly with other colleagues in the AFL? Nah, gimana, um, Anam? Uh, atau Ian? Is, uh, sorry, Sapri, is that for AFL in Australia or AFL in Indonesia? Mm -hmm. Halo, Sapri Idayat, bisa, boleh kalau mau on cam dan langsung bertanya? Mungkin karena ini ya, Mungkin karena um, AFL ini juga ada di Indonesia dengan nama AFL Indonesia. Nah, jadi, um, oke. Okay. Halo, halo Sapri Hidayat. Bisa nyalakan mic-nya? <laughs> Malu-malu ya? <laughs> yeah, oke. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll answer and then uh, and I can contribute as well. Um, so, uh, as, I, as one of the photos uh, demonstrated, where... It's not just about playing football, it's also about um, upskilling um, and creating, um, I guess, learning opportunities for um, uh, for those that participate uh, in the Australian English football. Yeah, um, sports science um, and uh, sports management, um, administration uh, and so on. That's actually another Um, objective of AFL Indonesia um, and of course the Krakatoas. So we focus on the players, but we actually have a couple of Krakatoas participants who uh, just wanted to be part of the administration of the club um, because it's not just this, uh, it's not just kicking and catching the ball, but you know, um, in the opening when I spoke about Australian community clubs and that culture, uh, for a start, you You don't get paid. You have to be a volunteer, um, and that way 
you know, whenever you make a decision, you're not influenced by money. You're just influenced by what's good for the club or for the team as a whole. Uh, the other thing is that um, uh, it, it's organizing people, um, ensuring that uh, I think I, I want to talk about, I think it was my organic growth. I mean, um, a couple of the, the founding principles um, with the clubs, uh, not founding, sorry, a couple of the principles, the, the guiding principles is uh, leading a team and being an inspirational leader. Um, so you have people of various abilities. Um, you have to realize that everyone has their own journey. Um, and every achievement, we focus on the achievements, not the win or the loss. Um, that's sort of how we uh, embody, keep thing, keep a club sustainable uh, because we don't want anyone to feel embarrassed. We don't want anyone to feel um, shy about their abilities. Um, and we embrace, we embrace the differences. Um, so, um, you know, and I guess grow organically. So um, having uh, people like yourself, Sapri, being involved on, on any in, on any level in a football club, by all means, is something we'd be more than happy to uh, facilitate. Um, you want to learn how to be a, 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 a referee or an umpire mm. or just how to um, manage a, a club in a volunteer uh, scenario. Um, yeah, this is what will make the sport sustainable in Indonesia is we can't have everyone be players. We have people who want to um, help the club or a league grow. Um, so, And if it means that you have to connect with Australian clubs, mm -hmm. that's the role of the Krakatoas is to try mm -hmm. and um, facilitate that connection. Right. Ya, jadi itu Sapri uh, jawaban dari Ian ya bahwa sebenarnya kita uh, tidak harus menjadi pemain, tapi kalau kamu juga mau belajar menjadi pelatih atau mau belajar menjadi wasit ya atau referee gitu ya atau mau jadi uh, tim pelaksana gitu ya. Karena di sini kan teman-teman juga uh, dari pendidikan olahraga ya pastinya juga uh, belajar bagaimana menjadi pelatih. Nah tentu saja Ian ini adalah pelatih kami. Nah teman-teman bisa belajar uh, dari Ian juga nantinya tentang bagaimana melatih dan nanti Artinya uh, AFL Indonesia juga memfasilitasi kalau mau mendapatkan sertifikat pelatih seperti yang didapatkan oleh Bu Ana. gitu. Jadi uh, informasi lebih lanjutnya kita bisa uh, share nanti uh, dan pastinya teman-teman uh, isi daftar hadir tadi ya dan juga uh, tetap uh, uh, tanya informasinya uh, ke Bapak Mario ataupun Pak Ardo yang sebagai perwakilan di uh, Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan. Seperti itu. Baik, kita sudah di penghujung acara. Uh, kita foto bersama dulu ya. Silakan teman-teman untuk menyalakan kamera dan berikan senyum terbaik. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Ayo, silakan teman-teman nyalain kameranya. Nah, wah ternyata rame ini. Pada kemana tadi? <laughs> Baru bangun ya? Oke, okay. nah semoga uh, nantinya uh, kita bisa bertemu secara langsung ya uh, untuk kegiatan AFL di uh, UNP. Oke, okay. baik Bapak Profesor Anedra juga sudah bergabung lagi bersama kami. Halo Pak, terima kasih Pak. Oke, okay. baik bisa dibantu untuk fotonya. Uh, ya. Yeah. Ya, satu, dua, tiga. Oke. Okay. Boleh lanjut lagi. Wah, ada banyak ini. <laughs> ya, satu. Ya, terima kasih, Elin. Ya, sama-sama. Ya, Ana, Bu Ana, dan Mr. Ian. Iya, Bapak, sama-sama. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, and I thank hope, you. I hope that, um, yeah, I hope the information we provided was helpful. Ya, ya, Ian berharap informasi yang disampaikan mendapat bermanfaat ya untuk kita semua. Ya, uh, baik, terima kasih atas perhatian kita bersama. Tetap semangat, uh, salam olahraga, tetap sehat semua ya. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.